either YouTubers. I don't know. I don't know if I look um, adequate on camera tonight. But um, yeah, I suppose I unlocked an achievement just now because um, you know I just now wrapped up translating and adding sub subtitles in both Man Mandarin Chinese and English to you know to one of one of the um, you know one of coach red pills videos titled um women um start at top men start at the bottom um and uh, yes that took me a whole day plus half of night to 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 finalize and uh, actually i can't call the mission completely finalized but before i i you know i go back to my laptop computer and uh, you know um to double check if there are any errors or grammatical mistakes that i happened to make um i always expect missed mistakes and errors and troubles um I, after all that's happened um nothing um seems easy nowadays well certainly something can seem easy at first sight as long as you proceed to to dive to drill deeper you will you know and you will hit some rocks you will um, begin to meet some setbacks and uh, you are bound to experience those you know those shite in, in your life so always expect trouble and uh, um, keep your chins up no matter what um, even in my current you know sorry state um, well I, I managed to 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 get back to partially get back in shape thanks to thanks to God thanks to my grandma thanks to my my one of my aunt and one of my uncle and the you know the pills the medications um, the doctors prescribed me um, and uh, yes I'm currently under the influence or the um, um, enthrallment of those pills M maybe you you can say that um, and while I wait for my laptop to process the finished um, you know the the um, the video I here I am film this video um, you know so that I won't waste any more time I have to get back in shape ASAP and I have to set many other projects in motion ASAP not just YouTube but um, also some other content creation projects like you know um, travel planning creating um, manuals to plan travels to various countries in the world um, I, I will list um, I, I will outline um, some some overviews about my current some of my current ongoing projects on patreon um, so long as I can um, squeeze out of um, more time out, out, out of myself um, so long as I can you know um, keep my current passion and uh, spirit um, su sufficiently high to get shite done you know as much as possible and my back aches aches so much and uh, um you know i could you know um i could sense some something weird going on on my on my fingers you know of my right right hand per perhaps due to the prolonged period of uh, um you know you um all operating the computer to to um you know while i edit and add and added the subs the translations characters there you know mandarin chinese characters actually i have 
done the translation online on YouTube, and yet, uh, you know, you know, I have done, I have already done so quite some time ago um, online on YouTube via um, um, via creators creators contribution campaign or 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 something like that, and uh, it it somehow somehow YouTube also says they are gonna discontinue such functionality um, and uh, well I and, and apparently they provided the um, its users with a link um, that that um, that kind of uh, you know um, re um, redirects to another um, you know um, s um, web page for online so support but uh, and yet such such, such web page contains utterly no information regarding why YouTube did, has decided to discontinue um, the cr creator's contributions functionalities, you know, such, such, such as adding translations, adding captions, adding subtitles, etc. Et, 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 et so I suppose YouTube currently owes us an explanation um, as to why they they why they all of a sudden decided to to discontinue um, to discontinue letting creators contribute to translations to adding captions to carrying out a lot of other tasks that I used uh, that I pretty much remained um, quite. Uh, uh, um, oblivious, t t um, uh, oblivious towards in the past. Um, excuse me. I beg your pardon for my sudden st um, stuttering. Well, actually, I, I was just um, just about to read the Bible for tonight's. Um, you know for t tonight's filming session but I haven't actually decided which um, which book of the Bible to read and which chapter to to read because um I my my mind is still kind of in term turmoil and uh, um on top of that I still um you know just um run out of uh, energy to do so um, maybe I should flip over flip the Bible over a bit to see to find out which chapter I should read maybe um, maybe I should read what um, maybe I should read John chapter 10 or so what do you guys think um, Okay, let's read John chapter 10 then from, um, from yes, NLT, New Living Translation. Um, just in case my translate, my translate, my in inner translator somehow gets some glitches again. You know, it's it's quite unpredictable. You know, so in order to to avoid that, to minimize the chance of such shite happening. Let's proceed to read John chapter 10 of the um, New Living Translation Bible. John chapter 10. Um, yeah, the Gospel of John chapter 10. The Good Shepherd and His Sheep. I tell you the truth, anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. Those 
who heard Jesus use this illustration didn't understand what he meant. So he explained to them, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep, and who come before me were thieves and robbers, but the true sheep didn't, did not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and a satisfying life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. And the, so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he is working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. I'm the good shepherd, I know my own sheep, and they know me, just as my father knows me and I know the father. So I sacrifice my life for the sheep. I have other sheep too that are not in this sheepfold. I must bring them also, they will listen to my voice, and there will be one flock with one shepherd. The father loves me because I sacrificed my life so I may take it back again. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily, for I have the authority to lay it down when I want to and also to take it up again, for this is what my father has commanded, when he has commanded. When he said these things, the people were again divided in their opinions about him. Some said, he is demon-possessed and out of his mind. Why listen to a man like that? Others said, this doesn't sound like a man possessed by a demon. Can the demon open the eyes of the blind? Jesus claimed to be, claims to be the Son of God. It was not now the winter and Jesus was in Jerusalem at the time of Hanukkah, the festival of dedication. He was in the temple walking through the section known as Solomon's um, con colonnade. The people surrounded him and asked, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have already told you, and you don't believe me. The proof is the work I do in my Father's name. But you don't believe me because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me, for my Father has given them to me, and he is more powerful than anyone else. No one can snatch them from the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Once again the people picked up stones to kill him. Jesus said, At my Father's di direction I have done many good works. For which one are you going to stone me? They replied, We are stoning you not for any good work, but for blasphemy. You are, you, a mere man, claim to be God, Jesus replied. It is written in your own scriptures that God said to certain leaders of the people, I say you are gods, and you know that the scriptures cannot be all altered. So if you, those people who received God's message were called gods, why do you call it blasphemy when I say, I am the Son of God? After all, the Father set me apart and sent me into the world. Don't, uh, don't believe me unless I carry out my Father's work, but if I do, my, do His work, believe in the evidence of the miraculous works I have done. Even if you don't believe me, then you will know that I and understand the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Once again, they tried to arrest him, but he got away and left them. He went beyond, beyond the Jordan River, near the place where John was first baptizing and stayed there a while, and many followed him. John didn't perform miraculous signs, they remarked to one another, but everything he said about this man has come true, and many who were there believed in Jesus.
Maybe we still have time for KGV. Yes, let's proceed to KGV. KJV. KGV chapter John chapter 10. Verily, verily I say unto you, he that entered he that entereth not by the door in the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the sheep of the sheep, is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. The par this parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, and that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief com cometh out, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and have, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth give his life for the sheep. But he that is an hiring and not the shepherd, whose own sheep, who own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leave, and leave the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, then also I must bring and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doeth, therefore doeth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it up again. No one, no man taketh it from me, but I lay it down my, of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again, to take it again. This commandment I have received of my father. There was a division, therefore, among, again, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, He hath the devil, and is mad. Why hear ye him? Others said, These are not the words of him that hath the devil. Can the devil open the eyes of, a, of the blind? And it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him, and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt, if thou be the Christ? Tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, and that as I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I gave unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, <clears throat> is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? Then Jews answered him, saying, For good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, mockest thyself God. Jesus answered, It is not written in your law, I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods, unto whom the words of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him, 
whom the Father hath set sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasph blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not, but if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know I believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and went away again beyond Jordan into place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true, and many believed on him there. So how do I sound? Yeah, maybe um, I should conclude tonight's filming session. Yeah, since I uh, have done quite plenty of work today. Yeah, though I, I don't, I still um, have no idea whether in the future um, such hard work could bear me any fruit, um, but we will see. So thanks again for watching and listening. I'm your host, Francis Judy. Good night, good day, and hope to see you guys again soon on YouTube. Bye-bye. Cheers. Good night. Thank you.